Hey guys, so I am going to be making, get ready for this, chocolate chili barbecue sauce. It's very odd, but it's just one of those things I think I gotta try. So what I have going on here is in my pan, I have a half a cup of water, and then you can use either three quarter cup of sugar or three quarter cup of honey. Since this is gonna be brought to a boil and cooked for a little while, you know, it's going to destroy the nutritional value of the honey. So, um, I do use organic sugar, which is why the water is the color it is. It's not bleached. Actually, it's a fair market trade, so it doesn't come from the United States, but, um, you know, it's this yellowy brown color. And, um, so you're going to dissolve the sugar in that. And once that's dissolved, which it's just really pretty much there, then what you're going to add is three-quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. Well, I don't know why this is boiling. I have it on like two. I don't have rice wine vinegar, so I'm substituting apple cider vinegar. And you're going to be doing um, three-quarters of a cup of that. Pour it in. You're going to be do adding a half a cup of tomato paste. Sorry, I know my hands are going to be in the way here. But, let me get that all in here. Some of these ingredients are going to be really bizarre. But, you know, I'm up for the challenge. It just sounds really good to me. Okay. So, there is my tomato paste. Stir that in a little bit. You know what? Actually, it would be better if I had my little whisk. Let's try this first. Hopefully, I won't make as much of a mess with it this way. Actually, it smells good already, but I haven't put the odd stuff in it so much yet. It's coming. Okay. Hold on, phone. Okay, sorry about that. Phone rang, but all I'm doing is just stirring this um, tomato paste in. And that's looking pretty good. So now what's going to go in next is a half, I mean, excuse me, a quarter cup of unsweetened orange juice. And to get this out one moment. Here's where the oddball stuff comes in. Uh, you know, I really did try to be organized before I started this, but evidently I didn't do good enough. Two tablespoons cocoa powder. I'm kind of thinking this is probably like along the line of a mole, but we'll see. One tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Get that in there. And then another weird one. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. I know, doesn't this sound bizarre? Oh, I'm a mess. It's probably got a little more than that in there. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And then what they call for in this recipe is an eighth of a teaspoon of chipotle powder, uh, chipotle chili powder, which I don't have and which really doesn't sound like very much either, but I have my uh, jalapenos that I grind up. There we go. So I'm going to start it off with, with, eh, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe a little more. But they recommend you can go up to half a teaspoon if you want it really spicy. And I probably will end up adding more to this. 
So all you're going to do is stir this in. Oh, it sure took on the color of the cocoa. What a pretty brown. One of my favorite colors. I love the color brown. And I'm going to raise the heat up and what you're going to do is you're going to bring this to a boil. And you are going to have to stir it during this time, obviously, because there is tomato paste in here. You do not want it to scorch and burn. At least I don't. I have chicken cooking in my crock pot, so um, I am really looking forward to trying this. I always like to try new recipes on Friday. Because I cook on Friday enough for Friday and Saturday. Okay. Going to let the heat get built up a little bit in this. And all we're doing is waiting for it to come to a boil. As soon as it does, then we're going to reduce the heat to low. And we're going to simmer it uncovered for 30 minutes. And that's basically it. We're done. Um, you can use it immediately. It, you can also refrigerate it overnight for my understanding of this recipe. I'll bring you guys back when it starts to come to a boil. Because I'm sure it's not going to take too long. Okay, be back. Okay, this is just starting to come to a boil. So I'm going to go over the recipe one more time. And then I'm going to tell you the adjustments that I made while I was tasting as, as it was going. So you're going to need three quarter cup of sugar or honey mixed with a half a cup of water. Melt that together. Then you're going to need three fourths cup of rice vinegar. I would suggest that quite honestly because I did adjust it because of the apple cider vinegar. Half a cup of tomato paste. A quarter cup of unsweetened orange juice. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. That is the basic recipe for this. Um, now, what I did, because the apple cider vinegar was very prevalent in it, and I like it, but if you like tangy, you would like the, the basic recipe, I would imagine. But I didn't want it quite so tangy, so I did add in about another quarter cup of sugar. And um, I also uh, put some onion powder in there, probably about half a teaspoon. I like onions, what can I say? And with the chili powder, um, I have only the jalapeno. So I ended up probably putting about a teaspoon or so in here. It, to me, didn't have a spicy flavor really at all. And I am a spice wuss, by the way. So for those of you who are really used to spicy, Taste as you go. Boost it as you need to. It is a different flavor. I can taste the vinegar. You get a little hit of the chocolate. I do not taste the vanilla. Or any of that. But so again then all you're going to do is once you get the sugar and water dissolved, combine everything else in a pan. You bring it to a boil. Then you're going to reduce heat to low and simmer uncovered for 30 minutes making sure you remember to stir it so that it does not scorch or burn you can use it immediately or you can use it overnight refrigerate it overnight excuse me for next day use and I am going to be using it immediately as soon as it's finished just to uh, do my chicken that's in the crock pot now um, they were doing this mostly over pork. I don't eat pork, so I'm doing it with chicken. But if you eat pork, maybe that's a flavor combination you'll like with these two together. So that is all I have for you, and I will try and remember and take a picture of my plate when it's done so that you can see what it looks like on the chicken. Y'all have a really good weekend, and God bless you.